Hey everyone, Karan here welcoming you back to Tales of the Abyss. In the last episode, we made our way through the border checkpoint at Kite Sewer, made our way to the Kite Sewer naval, naval point only to find out that our ship is wrecked, and are now here at Coral Castle because Arietta stole the engineer and told us to chase after him. So, here we are. Now, one thing I do want to point out, whoa, well, a new enemy, I guess. <laughs> Alright, so this is the Bat. Very creative name. Alright, let me go ahead and check him out here. But I was actually going to go into the next room before we went further into the castle to show you something, but let me go kill these guys first. Ah, quit hitting me, Bat. No, go away. But yeah, these guys are going to be your typical flying enemies. Really, not a whole lot to say about them all at all. Just, well, watch as Luke swings for nothing and I go from there. But yeah, just pretty much go after them as you normally would. Uh, a couple of later techs come in really handy against flying enemies, but I don't have them quite yet, unfortunately. One thing I do want to point out, though, and I'm actually going to go to the... Well, I can't do that yet. Doggone it. Sorry, I'm so used to playing later saves that I forget I can't do some stuff yet. Alright, anyway, let's head in here. And you notice, if you remember, that ghost went swirling by us at the end of the last episode with a red orb in his mouth. That had to do with this door right here, which, if it'll load up, what's with this door? It won't open. It looks like it's been sealed with special phonons. I wonder if there's something important inside. Yep, well, that's the door that we're going to have to try to open up as we go through this dungeon. Now, you notice it is purple. So what you're going to need to do is look for the color phonons that will work well with this with this color, I guess, with the door. So in order to do that, we got to go up here first and check out the surroundings. You notice I've got more of those freaking statue things. I try to avoid them if at all possible because they're just pains in the butt. All right, uh, nothing here, that's right. Okay, just go through here though and we'll be able to find those couple of ghosts that we need pretty easily. It's not gonna be too tough. The first one we actually find is right here. However, if we try to chase after him, he escapes. So what then are you supposed to do? Well, what you need to do is pull this statue over here first of all, and all right, he's flush on the wall. Then pull the statue that you can barely see hiding here. If I can get a hold of it, Luke, thank you. If you can get a hold of that, then you can get that statue over to the other side. Uh, let's see. I need to redo this, actually. Yeah, I think I might need to, maybe, possibly? No, I don't need to. Okay, good. What you want to do is make sure that the ghost has no room to pass by. So just pretty much push the statues here, or you can do it here or here or whatever you want, and then go through here and leave the room. However, come right back in, and you will notice the ghost pops up again. That thing always runs away. I wonder if we can block it somehow. Well, we kind of did already. Thanks, though. And then take on the ghost, and we can grab the phone on from him. Now, I don't think... Okay, we haven't fought the gremlin or the poltergeist. All right, so two new enemies. Let's go ahead and get their stats up here, starting with the poltergeist. I mean, he is the guy on the screen, after all. You notice, not terribly unusual as far as stats go, although unusually high magic defense, so you'll definitely want to focus more on physical attacks to take him out. But aside from that, not really too, ow crap, uh, not too difficult, except you notice those can cast magic, specifically the gremlin. So let me go ahead, I meant to actually pull up the item on that one, let me go ahead and pull up the gremlin stats there. The gremlin is an easy takedown, so you'll want to... You'll want to try to take him out quickly to keep him from casting magic. Unfortunately, it didn't really help Guy all that much, so I'll need to heal him once we get done here. Or you can hear him, heal him too, Tear, that works. But overall, not all that much to be concerned about. Just be careful about the Gremlin's magic. That really is most of it. Now, once you kill that little poltergeist, you get the red orb. What's this ball? Did that monster drop it? Oh well, guess I'll go ahead and keep it. Yep, and that is going to be the mechanic by and large for this dungeon as I get my items to try to heal people. Is to get these colors so that we can get purple. Now, if you'll notice, we've already got the red orb, of course. The other orb we need is blue, which we will see later. Now, there is another color or two that we can pick up in here, but we don't need to pick that color up. However, if we do happen to pick up that color, it's not the end of the world. You see the yellow one there. And if you want to fight him, well, I guess I'll get to. 
If you do end up running into that enemy, you will obtain a yellow orb, which we don't actually need. However, that's not really going to be that much of a problem, so if you do happen to run into it accidentally like I did, don't worry about it too much. You can replace the colors if you get too many, and we will run across that in just a minute, so you'll be able to see what I mean. But for now, all we really need to do is just pretty much head back in here and continue onward. Now, we'll want to go down here, obviously, and get the treasure first before we go upstairs. We will need to go upstairs next because that is... Okay, we can just skip right past you. That works, too. That is where the other ghost is, and you see him up there, but we got to catch the guy first. That, of course, is where Mew Fire can come in handy, or you can just... Good God. Okay. Uh, it's where Mew Fire can come in handy if you can hit him, but because Mew Fire is so hard to target, it's a little tough to get the guy. Now, you'll notice it actually gave us the blue orb there. Hey, the ball I picked up earlier disappeared. Can we hold only two? Well, looks like we can, so we'll need to go back and get that red orb again. Fortunately, though, the orbs are going to come back and, well, the statues are going to stay in place, so it shouldn't be too tough. But if you do end up getting into that situation, though, I mean, that's really all you need to do. It's not too tough. All right, well, Luke and Jade actually leveled up there, so that's good. And I got money, which is even better, because I spent most of it already. <laughs> okay, so, just basically head back through, and I think we need to go upstairs to get... Let's see, I believe we've got treasure in here as well, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, we do. Hello. Ooh, chainmail. Good. I can equip that on... Oh, well, I can equip it on Luke. Uh, let me see. Iron mail. Well, that's pretty much it for that. Okay. So, yeah, good treasure. Good defense is always better, obviously. Well, huh, looks like Anna's got a chance to fight a little bit there. And uh, if you have two gremlins in the party that you're fighting, kill them fast. Because otherwise, they will rip you to shreds. Just word of warning. Okay, one thing I want to point out coming out of that one, Jade learned Stalagmite, which is, in my mind, one of his best texts. It, well, you'll probably see it when we get to a big battle later on, but it is an earth attack that hits in a an AoE area, which is really, really helpful. Alright, go through here, and we can pick up some more treasure, which is always helpful, of course. And we get another color there, which is green. We do not want to fight him. So go away, go away, go away, go Whoa, I'm trapped. No, I'm not. Sweet. Oh, okay. I was afraid I was going to have to fight him for a second. Alright, Silk Robe is, I think, for Tear. No, it's not. It is for Jade. Go me. Alright, but definitely better armor is good for him. We need it badly. But now all we really need to do is head downstairs and actually collect the red orb again and go back to the door. So I'll actually go ahead and see you guys over there. Alrighty, we are back at the door and the party's not really much the worse for wear. A little bit, but not too badly. So now that we have the two colors that we need, you see we've got red and blue. We can go ahead and talk to the door. And it will magically unlock purple! Yes, thank you, I just said that. And that's really all we need to open up the door here, which is nice. So let's go ahead and head through. And we come to a rather weird looking device and some graphics glitches from my card. Yay! Alright, just... Well, as I was saying, uh, let's go ahead and head down here and see if we can figure out what is going on with this weird instrument here. What the hell? What's this weird machine doing in our vacation home? Is this... Colonel, do you know what it is? No, I can't be sure. And even if I were... What? Has it got something to do with me? I can't be certain yet. Give me a little more time to think about it. I think this is the first time I've ever heard you sound nervous about something. There's something I'm concerned about as well. If what's troubling you is related to Luke's kidnapping... Ah! Get away! W what? <laughs> I... That was more than just a startled reaction. What's wrong? I'm sorry. 
my body just reacted. Sorry about that, Annis. Are you all right? Y yeah. Did something happen? That didn't look like a mere aversion to females. I'm sorry, I really don't know. I wasn't like this as a kid. But there's a part of my memory that's completely missing. The cause may lie there. Your memory is messed up too? I don't think it's the same thing. I'm only missing the memory from a single moment. How do you know it's just one moment? I know. The only thing that's missing is the memory of when my family died. Enough about me. I want to hear what's on your mind, Colonel. Just as you'd rather not talk about your past, there are some things I wish not to talk about as well. Well, on that very cryptic exchange, let's move on, shall we? So, of course, as it mentioned, Guy has a little bit of amnesia too, except his amnesia is very singularly focused, although Luke's is very much not. But all we really need to do now, after having witnessed that, is just head out of here and go onward. We don't have too much else left to this place, actually. Most of the mechanic was trying to open up that door, and now we get to chase after a liger. <laughs> the mystery machine! Wow, which makes me think so much of Scooby-Doo when I was a kid. Oh, memories. Okay, anyhow. Before you go much further, you might want to think about healing up a little bit. We don't have to do so just yet. In fact, actually, I think there might be a healing memory circle in a minute. Oh, yeah, there is. Never mind. But yeah, you will want to definitely think about saving. Uh, I will go ahead and save over one of the old files, I guess, while I'm at it. Because, yeah... Obviously, if we have a healing memory circle here, there's something big coming up, and absolutely there is, so just FYI. Alright, oh, uh, well. Incidentally, I think I saw something in that battle that I don't remember having seen any other time I've played Tales of the Abyss, and that is an enemy... Well, I was going to say, that's the first time I've ever seen an enemy actually try to escape a battle. We've escaped battles, or at least I will be escaping plenty of battles as time goes on, but it's the first time I've seen an enemy try to do it. Oh, hi. And we get Shakujo, which I think is a sword for Guy, if I'm not mistaken. I am mistaken. Alright, Shakujo is... well, if I can find the dang thing... Is it a... Oh, it's for Tear. Wow, okay. And it is... Whoa! Very, very, very good, as you see. Definitely equip it. It's a good thing we got that before this upcoming battle. We will need it. And we will especially need it before the next upcoming battle. And I will explain more what I mean by that when the time comes. But first, let's grab a last piece of treasure here. Money, which is always nice. And then make our way to the top, which is pretty much exactly where we need to go. There's one! Luke, let's follow it! I'm going too! Sorry about that, I had to take care of a couple other things on the computer real quick. Wait, please don't hurt Arietta. Wait, it could be a trap! My, my, there they go. Impetuous little things, aren't they? They really could stand to use their heads a little. Guardians was... Luke! Honestly, if only he'd be a little more careful. <sighs> oh, no! Dist is involved in this, too? Oh, brother. 
Oh, what are we going to do now? Hmm? Tear, did you say something? N no it's nothing. Let's hurry up and rescue Luke and the Chief. It's my fault. Oh, I can't believe I let this happen. That... Now, now, calm down. If they're going to this much trouble, I doubt they intend to take his life. And the one they really want, Ion, is still with us. Ah, I see. Even the phonon frequency is the same. This is a perfect creation. That's not important. We have to erase the data before they come back. If the data here is that important, you shouldn't have had Ash use Coral Castle in the first place. That idiot came here on his own. We'll have to have Van punish him later. Oh, look. This idiot here is finally coming around. No matter. I've already opened his synchronized phone slots. I'll be going now. I can't wait to analyze this data. <laughs> What the hell did you do to me? I see no reason to answer that question. No! What? You? Guy, what is it? It, they're here. This was an unauthorized mission. It's too bad I can't kill you myself, but I'll leave it in Arietta's capable hands. She's on the roof with the hostage. Hope you enjoyed our little game. Whew. What the hell was all that? What is it, Guy? Oh, nothing. I got hold of a strange phone disk, so I was just wondering what it was. Let's have Jade look into it later. Are you okay, Luke? What in the world did they want to kidnap you for? How should I know? Why the hell does this stuff always happen to me? It's Arietta's fault. She's going to pay for this. She's on the roof, right? I hate running around like this, but we have no choice. Let's go. Alrighty, so after all that, we pick up a phonic disc, which, well, we have no idea what it's good for or what it's used for, but, oh well, we have it anyway. Unfortunately, it does put us back over this way, so we're going to have to go back to the roof area where we were and watch all my flickering little squares there, but it's not too bad, really. Now, of course, the question then is, what just happened to Lou? And who actually is behind the Mask of Sync? And what in the world are they doing running around with Luke in the first place? So, all of those questions, of course, and then some of them that you don't even know to ask yet, will obviously be answered as we go through the game. Some of them we'll have answers for actually relatively soon. But for now, let's make sure everybody is ready to go, healed up and all that good stuff, and head back to the roof to confront Arietta. I'm not falling for that again. Luke, you're amazing! Not bad for you. Oh, give it a rest. You shot fire at my friend! I'm really gonna make you pay now. Shut up already. You've caused enough trouble, you little brat. I don't care. I'm going to kill you all and take back Ion. You killed Mommy, now you die. No. All right, so we have a boss fight against Arietta the Wild and her friends the Liger and the Res Velger. God, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Let's focus on Arietta first, because as you see, she is a magic user and a physical fighter at the same time, which, oh boy, trust me, that will be a royal pain in the butt later. But for now, it's not going to be too bad. You notice, she's got really high physical and magical defense, so she's going to be a bit of a tough nut to crack. 
I will mention at this point in time also, Arietta of the Wild, as a god general, is voiced by Kate Higgins. Kate Higgins' main work in terms of anime and such has been, obviously, Tales of the Abyss, but also she has voiced characters in Naruto and Bleach as well. So she is open to a pretty, she's got a pretty strong anime component to her as well. And I took that right on the chin. That's, oh, come on. Ah, all right. Well, this is the first time I've died in battle. So yeah, I got trapped on the doggone end of the arena. That's part of the bad thing about playing with a free run system in a way is that there is, is there is a limit to the arena. And if you hit that limit, you're pretty screwed. So you definitely want to be careful with that. Now, what Arietta just did is she called for Overlimit, and freaking Liger's Overlimited too. Now the big thing that we see from Overlimit right now is that means that whoever is Overlimited cannot be staggered. As you can imagine, that is a good thing for an ally, but it is pathetic for an enemy. It's awful in the hands of an enemy, especially an enemy as potent as Arietta is. Now. Main reason, like I said, that I want to take her out, Arietta, is because she uses magic and physical stuff at the same time, which is. Ugh. Anyway, but now that we've got her out of the way, I'm going to focus on the Liger next. The Liger, if we can show him, you'll notice does not have nearly as high magical defense. So if you go after him, your best, your best attack rather, is to go after him with magical attacks and wait to get out of his way because he is a pretty heavy-handed physical fighter. He's pretty easy to avoid with free run if you're careful. So you'll definitely want to keep that in mind as you're going through. And it's a lot like the Liger Queen really in the Cheagle Woods. Just a little bit smaller of a uh, Liger. That's all really. Ow. Okay, uh, this should about have him. Yeah, he's almost gone. Good. Oh, shut up, Jade. And quit guarding, Liger! All right, come on you, there we go, good, he's out. All right, now the Resvelger is gonna be the last opponent that we're gonna take on here, and I'm gonna actually have Luke use the magic lens this time, come on, there you go. The Resvelger, as you notice, is also a little bit less potent in regards to magical defense and magical attack, actually. Has a weakness to fire, so hopefully, we'll be able to see that in action, at least a little bit anyway, although Jade is busy just basically whacking it with his spear. All right, but you notice if he guards like that, get the heck out of his way. Otherwise, he will hit you with a big old AOE with a capital AOE. So definitely be careful with that. But, I mean, aside from that, you notice his health's going down pretty quickly. I just need to be careful with myself. Otherwise, I'm going to get myself killed. There we go. Okay. Get him into a bit of a combo there. And good job, Jay. Nice timing on the continuation there. And we're triumphant. Now you'll notice a couple of new skills, which is nice, and I also lost grade because, well, I died. And they take a pretty good amount of grade off if the player character gets killed during battle, so, eh. Anyway, we got, all right, dash, critical magic, and void magic, okay, sweet. I knew letting her live would come back to haunt us. Wait, I'll take Arietta back for an inquiry before the Order of Lorelei. So please, don't take her life. Yes, that would be best. Master. There was no word of the Phone Master's arrival in Kitesur, so I came here just in case. I'm sorry, Van. There's no point in dwelling on what's already been done. I'll take Arietta into my custody. Is that... Yes. Please do, and please treat her wounds. How do you plan to explain her crimes to His Majesty and the military? We will follow proper order procedure, punish her, and issue a report. That's how lawful society operates. I have soldiers and a coach from Count Almondine, the Kitesur commander. I'll escort the maintenance chief home as well. What will you do, Ion? I'd prefer you to come with me, but... It seems some of us are interested in this castle, but... Alright, so we get a choice. Now, you can go ahead and take the coach back if you want, but I am actually going to choose to walk because there is one thing I want to show you guys. 
probably at the beginning of the next video actually. But one thing I want to show you guys that we have that now opens up in Coral Castle, and we can't really see it if we take the coach, so let's go ahead and choose to walk back. I want to walk back. Once we get on the ship, we'll be back in Batical in no time anyway, right? Well, the route does have us stopping in Kessidonia along the way. It sounds like we'd prefer to walk, so we'll catch up to you later. Understood. Please take care. Alright, so, well, that's pretty much that. Let's check out the items we picked up here. A dark bottle, and a savory, which I will go ahead and give to... I'll actually go ahead and give that to Luke, because he needs a TP more than anybody else. And then I'm going to make my way down to the save point, and next time on Tales of the Abyss, we actually will make our... we'll actually start back at the beginning of the castle, because the thing that I want to show you guys is actually over there. So thank you guys for joining me, and I'll see y'all later.